بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله uh, This is section 7.1 and the second concept in this section is odds odds and probability we sometimes use the word odds to odds sorry the, the word odds to describe the likelihood that an event will occur there are two kinds of odds the odds in favor of an event E occurring and the odds against E occurring. So the, the odds in favor or the odds against. The definition is as follows. The odds in favor of E is simply equal to the probability of E over the probability of E complement, not E, probability of not E. So it's one minus probability of E. Probability of E complement is one minus probability of E. This is the odds in favor of E. You divide the probability of E over the probability of not E or one minus probability of E. The odds against E, so the odds that E will not occur against E is probability of E complement over the probability of E. So it's the reciprocal of the odds in favor. So if this is 1, 2, 2, this would be 2, 2, 1. We write it like this. And we read it A to B, okay? So we, you write it A to B or like this. So that's the formula, odds in favor and odds against, and let us have some example. If the probability of drawing a queen from a deck of playing cards is 1 over 30. Of course, uh, a playing cards, we have 52 playing cards. And how many queens are there? There are four queens. So probability of selecting a queen, one card, a queen, exactly, a, we need a queen. We have four queens over 52, so it's one over 30. So if you call it drawing a queen Q, for example, if you call it event Q, then the probability of Q is one over 13. Now the question, what are the odds in favor of drawing a queen? So the odds in favor of drawing a queen would be probability of Q, which is one over 13 over 1 minus this probability or probability of not drawing a queen and not drawing a queen or 1 minus this probability is 12 over 13 so it is 1 over 12 so we write it 1 to 12 so these the odds in favor of drawing a queen 1 to 12 Against drawing a queen would be the up the reciprocal, okay? Would be twelve to one because it would be one minus one over thirteen over one over thirteen. So this is simply the odds in favor and the odds against the likelihood of uh, event E occurring and not occurring. An exact question: If the probability that an event will occur is two over five. So that's the probability of E. Probability of E is 2 over 5. What are the odds in favor of the event, of the event occurring? So the odds in favor would be 2 over 5, the probability of E, over 3 over 5, which is 1 minus 2 over 5, or the probability of E complement, or probability of E not occurring. The answer is 2 over 3, so the odds are 2 to 3. These are the odds in favor of the event occurring. Again, the event occurring would be 3 to 2. If the probability that an event E will not occur, okay, so now this is the probability of what? This is the probability of E complement, that the event will not occur. So if, if I ask you what would be the probability of E, it would be 1 minus 8 over 
11 which is 3 over 11 okay so always the probability of e plus the probability of e complement is 1 so what are the odds that e will occur the probability of e over the probability of e complement so it's 3 over 8 or 3 to 8 this is the probability that e will occur e will not occur would be 8 over 11 over 3 over 11 so it's 8 to 3 now when we have the probability of e or the probability of e complement we can find the odds in favor and the odds against what if the odds are given and we need the probability of the event so if the odds in favor of an event e are a to b this is in favor then the probability that e will occur probability of e would be a this number over a plus b okay so that's a way to find the probability of e when you know the odds in favor if you know the odds against also you take a you take this number this time here you take a this number to the to the left here you take the number to the right if it is against so it's a over a plus b this would be probability of the event e so now if you have the odds in favor or the odds against you can find the probability of e uh, example according to nipost.com the odds that a student age 12 to 18 will be bullied at school during a year so this is the odds what in favor not against this is the odds in favor are 10 to 12 so this is to 21 sorry so this is a and this is b what's the probability that such a student will not be bullied at school well i can find the probability that the student will be bullied okay I, I call it b so probability of b would be a which is 10 over a plus b which is 31 will not be bullied this is the probability of b complement okay where b complement not bullied So the probability that the student will not be bullied will be 1 minus 10 over 31 and 1 minus 10 over 31 is 21 over 31 so this is the probability if the odds that a particular horse will win so this is the odds in favor so this is a and this is b What's the probability that the horse will win the race? It is A over A plus B. What is the probability that the horse will lose the race? It is 1 minus 1 over 21. So it's 20 over 21. If the odds that an event E will not occur, so this is B and this is A, what is the probability that the event will occur so what is the probability of e it is a over 23 plus 57 and 23 plus 57 is 80 so i can just write it 57 over 80 or you can uh, simplify uh, write it as a decimal what is the probability that the event E will not occur? Will not occur is 1 minus 57 over 80, okay? Which is 23 over 80. Of course, you have another way to find the probability of E complement will not occur. If you want, you divide B by A plus B, okay? This is another way if you like. Uh, thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed the odds in favor and against.